While Ben Shapiro is off getting absolutely enraged by his successful OnlyFans creators, there's a different type of creator that is drawing in big bucks. Here's a picture. This is an Instagram account for Fit Aitana, who's obviously a beautiful woman, right? Well, kind of beautiful, but not a woman because she's not a person because that's AI. Um, and I had seen this account before. We talked about it on the show. There was some article. Well, it's come back up because now Fit Aitana makes like $4,000 a month via posting on Instagram. There's a write up. You can track down that article if you want. Uh, Aitana Lopez, the AI creation has a surname, uh, is the brainchild of Barcelona based communication agency, The Clueless, who say that real models are too expensive. You have to pay them, fly them around, give them clothes and trips and all that. So instead, we're just going to do artificial intelligence. And by the way, like if you go to the account for this AI creator, it doesn't hide that they're fake. It's right there in the description. If you can go to graphic seven, uh, it says that they're an AI creation, they're a digital creator. And the thing about this that I find so fascinating is not that that's a popular account. The pictures are attractive. Nobody's going to deny that. It's not that maybe like a lot of guys look at the images, follow the account, or whatever. It's the guys who message the fake thing on the screen. And there are a lot of them. We put together some of these images of like hearts and hard eyes and guys saying, beautiful, beautiful, very beautiful. You are my princess. I adore you. Just beautiful, perfect body and beautiful, sexy face. Well, the body should be perfect because it's not real. It's not flesh. It was made up. Uh, take care always, my crush. What, what do they have to worry about? Hard drive filling up? They're not real. My favorite pink haired person, not a person because it's just AI. And uh, I just like guys are so funny, man. They are. They they keep thinking and it's weird enough when they do this to an actual human. They keep thinking that if they post the right comment, something's going to happen. This they can't. is a computer program. They That's can't. all it is. They can't think that. But this is the thing. So uh, maybe uh, for, for the sake of the argument. And you know what? I, you know what? F that. I believe it. Good for them. Go for it, bro. Sometimes the the work of sex work, as you mentioned with uh, you know, with the OnlyFans woman that Ben Shapiro is so upset about, she's not the one responding to fans, and she's not the one interacting when they say what they want to say in DMs or whatever hell else they're doing. It's okay. They just want that experience. They're never gonna actually meet the AI model. They're never gonna actually meet the real model who lives in, you know, Omaha. Who goes to the gym every day and then posts pictures of her actual real self and then mm -hmm. actually interacts with people or actually does, you know, whatever videos that people are wanting. That person who is a real life human flesh and blood person, they still don't know them. They still don't talk to them. They still don't actually have an opportunity to meet that person, but they still go through all those same comments. They go through mm -hmm. sometimes the satisfaction, I'd assume from guys who are like, oh, heart eyes and all that stuff is for themselves. They want to have that outward interaction with something yeah. in this case, even if it feels like, I guess, to a degree real. Look, people think of it this way. We may watch, you talked about Tom Hanks in the movies earlier. We may watch some sex bomb on a movie. There's the hottest guy ever, then there's the hottest woman ever on these movies. You think you're ever going to meet any of these actresses and actors? <laughs> Hell no, you're not going to meet them. But when someone gets married and they're a longtime actor and actress, they go, oh, Brad Pitt is off the, he's off the, uh, what's the term? Uh, he's off the market. Mm -hmm. Damn it. He got married. I said, bro. You're never going to marry Brad Pitt anyway. Yeah, we're <laughs> not in that market. It's off the market. What are we talking about? Yeah. It's unreal. It's just now there's an actual fake version of it that they don't have to. The bad part is this is going to take away jobs from the real people who are actually influenced. I'm glad that you brought that up because substantively, that's my most significant Sorry, I concern. I mean, look, maybe it'll be that lots of people can make money by running these accounts. And I guess that's something too. But there are people who make money by posting images like this. And it is going to be very difficult for flesh and blood humans to keep up with whatever this is. I mean, and it's not just the images or whatever. They put out stories, they have social media. Like, it can be a like all encompassing thing. How does a human like keep up with that? So this is once again an area where people are going to be pushed out of their jobs. Yeah. Um, hold on. <laughs> Brett said, quote, just live your crappy life and never dream, John and JR. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You're dreaming drink of getting dream. with the robot? Oh. I don't understand it. <laughs> but anyway, I well, is this better or worse from the point of view of Ben Shapiro? <laughs> I don't. It's gotta know. be better. 
Check oh, his no, history for how he's used AI. Yeah, because it's not about the woman. It's about the men who are in their basements. He doesn't give a damn how a woman's yeah. life is affected by how she has to go about this. Yeah, I, I actually care about the men in their basements, and I think that they could use a lot better influences and role models than Ben Shapiro. Hey, I wait guess, until I, these robots be turned to real-looking humans, and then guys just don't leave their house. <laughs> ever. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.